as the oldest brother, you know, my uh, basketball skills were far, far dominant, you know, to his. And then he turned seven years old. He was a big guy that could step out before it was fashionable that big guys could step out. Um, he had unbelievable footwork. He had unbelievable knowledge of the game. He had a real thirst for the game. Was very skilled. Had, you know, had a nice little jump shot. Used the backboard. People don't use the backboard anymore. Tom Fox was a master at the little turnaround 15 foot, you know, off the glass, you know, shot. I knew he'd be special. And not only was he gonna be a special player, his, his work attitude, he was gonna be a special kid. You know, and to, to see what he's done now, he, you know, be, father, he's a writer, he's a teacher, he's, you know, he's, he's happy with himself. Clearly, he was an excellent basketball player. I didn't coach basketball, but he, he, clearly, and, and uh, Ignatius basketball has a great history to it, and he enjoyed being a part of that. But what I really enjoyed w with Tom was basketball season was over, and, and nowadays you hear so many things about how athletes have to go 12 months out of the year, grinding away at the same sport and so on. And Tom was one of the earliest guys, I, I think, ever, that realized, I'm gonna put the ball down for a while, and I'm gonna go over to the track team, and I'm gonna work on running, and I'm also gonna work on my jumping. You know, athletically, you know, he had the size, the ability, the athleticism to do some amazing things, uh, not only on the basketball court, but he was also a great high jumper. His work ethic was, was really amazing. Um, if he wasn't on the basketball court, he was in the weight room. If he wasn't in the weight room, he's doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with Vinny. Um, Tom was blessed with incredible hype, but I think even more so, he was blessed with unparalleled work ethic. It was it was something where, um, you know, when he was in seventh and eighth grade, I mean, most kids are sleeping in in the summer. He's up at five o'clock in the morning, and he's wearing, you know, snowshoe boots, and he's dribbling a basketball around a track just to get faster and jumping rope and, you know, looking at it then, I was like, what is, what is wrong with this guy, right? All that work ethic that led to all district, all Ohio, um, all plain dealer, everything, um, and then a full ride to uh, St. Francis. So I think Tom is a guy that really is a, he's, he's a person that's really maximized his God-given ability. And that's, that's shown uh, with, with everything that he's accomplished. He was a great teammate and a great friend. Just fun to be with, a good man. He is, is, is so great, not just as, a, as an athlete, but as a person, and, and it's, you know, it's, his un, it's his unselfishness. Whether he's, you know, if he needs to grab 20 rebounds or score two points or come off the bench, I mean, you know, he wants to win. You know, he, he'll do whatever it takes to win. He will get everybody behind him to win. If you're on my brother's team, you're gonna win. You know, as a person, uh, Tom Fox was also incredibly blessed. He came, comes from an amazing family. Uh, his siblings are all great people. His parents are top notch. Um, he's raising three amazing, beautiful girls. And, you know, Tom, I think everybody would agree that has, he has a teaching spirit about him. Obviously, he's a teacher for a living, um, but he's, he's coaching. And he's, he's, I don't know how many big, big man camps he's done over the years. Uh, when you talk about uh, being a man for others, I don't think there's another person that that, that does it better than he does. This is, this is a great honor, but this is not his, his greatest achievement, and it's not gonna be his greatest achievement. Tom's de best days are always in front of him. Tom is always gonna lift up everyone who he's with or who comes behind him, and, and I'm proud of him for, for this. This is, this is unique, but, but again, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm more proud of the person he is because that's the person that I think um, yeah, I wanna emulate. I mean, Tom Fox is a special person. He's a winner. You could ask anybody, probably on the Ignatius teams as well as the St. Francis teams, and I mean, he was just known as an incredible workhorse and just a really, really great person. I feel like you know the the bond I have with my older brothers because we wore that blue track jersey, and the bond I have with my younger brother is that we we wore the basketball jersey. So uh, I, I I wouldn't be here without them. Uh, coach Brian Becker, Coach John Cooney, Coach Tim Valla were the varsity coaches. One gentleman in particular, Vinnie Hyman, uh, who graduated the class in 1952, and he was a neighbor. And, and you know, I was always that uh, tall, lanky kid on Bunce Road, and he saw potential. And, and he and I were really inseparable from the, my summer after seventh grade. We did a lot of early morning work. I would, I would hope that they, they said I was hardworking and humble. You know, uh, being a part of the team was, was the most important thing. 
and that was stressed here with the coaches. Teaching for 22 years now, um, the, the tower looms large in my life. It's uh, such a special place with so many special people. Uh, and it's, it's a combination of so many things, of history, of incredible people, um, of success uh, in the classroom, on the athletic fields. And, you know, so I, I, I cherish that, um, you know, being an Ignatius man forever because it's, it's true. They're not just words. And, and to be a part of Ignatius now in such a special way, it, it, it's one of the great honors of my life.